hello guys welcome to another video in this video we are going to talk about how can we calculate the variance for sales revenue and we have two cases uh, what if we sell only one product and second case is what if we sell multi product so here we are going to cover the first scenario now if we sell a single product so how we can calculate the variance for sales revenue and here as we know how we can write the sales in income statement so we need to write their quantity sold multiplied by sales price like how many number of units we have sold in a given period so just we need to multiply with the price per unit so the variance can arise either due to change in quantity or due to change in price so as you can see here so total sales variance can be divided into two section the first section the variance could arise due to change in price or rate or the variance could arise due to change in quantity which is called volume variance sales variance analysis is used for evaluating not only the production function but also the selling function now the price or the rate variance for a single product the sales price variance is the change in sale revenue attributable solely to the change in selling price and holding quantity constant here so the price or the rate variance uh, we can calculate by using this formula so what you need to do we will take actual unit sold multiplied by actual sales price and you will get the one value here and then again you will take actual unit sold multiply by standard price i mean to say budgeted price so if you will multiply you will get one value here so now the difference of these two answer is called variance if the answer of the first line is higher and the answer of second line is lower so it means this variance is favorable why because your actual price is more than standard price if the answer of the first line is lower and the answer of the second line is higher so this variance is gonna to be unfavorable why because your actual price is lower than standard price so that is why this variance will be unfavorable we have another way to apply the same formula so you can look down so here we have another formula price or rate variance could also be calculated uh, by taking or by applying this formula so what you can do simply you will take the difference of actual price minus standard price and you will multiply with the actual quantity sold so this will give you the variance if your actual price is greater than standard so this variance will be favorable or if your actual price is less than standard this will be unfavorable variance or in another way if you apply this formula when you take actual price minus standard price times actual quantity sold if answer is positive so this is favorable variance if answer is negative so this is unfavorable variance favorable price variance occurs when your actual price is greater than standard price and the following could be the reasons now we are going to discuss about the reason so why your actual price is greater than standard price it could be possible due to decrease in number of competitors in the market and the second reason could be maybe we are uh, producing the product which are differentiated so that is why we are charging higher prices and price variance is favorable and the third reason maybe we have aggressive sales campaign or maybe we are promoting our goods in better way so that is why our actual sale price is more than standard price so now the unfavorable price variance occurs when your actual price is less than standard price so this 
could result in unfavorable price variance and following could be the reason number one maybe increase in the competition in the market so maybe you have now more competitors and that is why you cannot charge higher prices than standard so you are selling your product uh, at lower prices and the second reason could be maybe there is a decrease in the demand of the product maybe people are not ready to buy the product so or maybe they are not willing to buy the product so that is why you are forced to decrease the prices and the third reason could be maybe there might be a reduction in the prices enforced by regulatory authorities you know sometimes government can also intervene in the pricing strategies and maybe they might fix the prices which might be less than the standard price so that that's why it also could result in unfavorable price variance now we are going to talk about the quantity or volume variance as you can see here quantity or volume variance is the measure of change in profit or contribution as a result of difference between actual or budgeted sales quantity like when your actual quantity is different than budgeted sales quantity so what would be the change in profit or profit or contribution so that is why that is called quantity or volume variance and the quantity or volume variance you can calculate by applying this formula as well okay like for example you can take actual unit sold multiply by standard profit per unit and second line is budgeted unit sold multiplied by standard profit per unit so you can see here the standard profit is constant but what is the difference here the difference is the in between actual unit sold and budgeted units sales so that is why it's called quantity variance so once you will multiply actual units sold with the standard profit and budgeted unit sales with the standard profit so you will get two answer here and this is called your variance but if your first line uh, line of the answer is higher if first answer is higher and second line answer is lower this variance will be favorable if first answer is lower and second answer is higher this will be unfavorable why because if your actual unit solds are greater than budgeted unit sold it is favorable otherwise it will be unfavorable we can also write the quantity or volume variance formula in this way as as well so as you can see here you can take actual unit sold minus budgeted unit sales times standard profit per unit if answer is positive this will be favorable variance if answer is negative this will be unfavorable variance okay so now here is the trick this is really important point like what does mean by standard profit per unit because this value we also used in the above formula so the standard profit actually it depends upon and the costing system like which costing method we are using so it's really important so you have to check this point in the exam question as well so if company is using variable costing so the standard profit per unit is always equal to standard contribution per unit like as i told you if company will use variable costing so the standard profit is equal to contribution don't forget this point and if company is using absorption costing so the standard profit per unit is always equal to standard gross profit per unit now the question is that how we can calculate these two components if you are required to calculate the contribution per unit which is equal to standard profit so how you can take you need to take budgeted sales price okay and from the budgeted sales price you need to subtract all variable cost which might include what cost of material it can include the cost of labor it can also include the variable overhead production cost it can also include non production variable cost like selling cost etc so if you will take sales minus all variable so this will give you standard profit or contribution per unit which you will multiply here but if 
company is using absorption costing you have to calculate standard gross profit whenever we use the word standard gross profit it means it's a budgeted gross profit and this is how we can calculate it is under absorption costing we need to take budgeted sale price and we will subtract here all production cost production not the non production so production cost might include the cost of material cost of labor variable production overhead and fixed production overhead so all this is the budgeted data huh? so we will take the budgeted sale price minus all budgeted production cost so you will get standard gross profit per unit so now this is really important point so now we need to understand unfavorable volume variance this unfavorable volume variance occurs when your actual unit sold are less than budgeted units sales and following could be the reason the first reason could be the change in trend if a company introduce a new and advanced version of the product it affects the sales of the previous version as we know because customer shift to the new product so this could be the reason for unfavorable volume variance the second reason could be the change in law uh, if the government will change the law for the foreign trade policy and has restricted export of the some product so this can also result in unfavorable volume variance and the third reason could also be uh, the change in price if the production cost increases and the management may decide to increase the selling price of the product so as per the law of demand price and quantity have adverse relation whenever there is an increase in price due to increase in cost so this might result in unfavorable volume variance the fourth reason might be the competition if competitors will launch the new product it might also affect our sales volume variance adversely so these are the reason for unfavorable volume variance now we have uh, favorable volume variance Favorable volume variance occurs when your actual unit sales are greater than budgeted unit sales and the following could be the reason. Maybe the possible causes of favorable sale, sales uh, volume variance include maybe it is a reduction in the competition. That is why you can sell more units in actuality and maybe there is a decrease in price so maybe that's why you your uh, demand has increased maybe there is an elimination of trade restriction uh, previously imposed so these all could be the reason uh, could be the reason for favorable volume variance please don't forget the formulas for sales price variance and sales volume variance uh, just to memorize the formula you can just go back and you can check those formulas so here we are going to practice the questions now let's assume we have a question number one uh, let's assume you are provided with the following information actual and budgeted information about the sales of the product are presented as below so this is the actual information and here you have a budgeted information for example here he told you units actual units are eight thousand and budgeted units uh, were ten thousand sales revenue in dollar actual sales revenue is ninety two thousand dollar and budgeted sales revenue is hundred and five thousand dollar so you are required to calculate the sales price variance how we can calculate so here is the solution so just we will write first the formula for sale uh, price or rate variance and the formula was actual price minus standard price multiplied by actual quantity sold so this will result in variance so here we need to calculate the actual price because you are not provided with the straight away data straightforward data so here you also need to calculate the standard price so whenever uh, you are not provided with the actual price and standard price so maybe we can use these two formulas so if you want to calculate the actual price per unit what you need to do you need to write here actual sales revenue which was ninety two thousand dollar here you can see divided by actual units which was eight thousand you can see above into the question so if you will divide revenue with the units so this will give you actual price which is eleven point five 
zero dollar so if you want to calculate now the standard price for the standard price what you can do you need to write here budgeted sales revenue which is hundred and five thousand dollar divided by budgeted units which are ten thousand units so if you will divide you will get the standard price or the budgeted price which is ten point five dollar so if you will take here eleven point five minus ten point five multiply by just you need to multiply with the actual quantity sold which is 8000 unit so if you will multiply so you will get the positive answer $8,000 so that is why this variance will be favorable because your actual price is more than standard price so now we are going to uh, practice another question just to calculate another variance so we have a question number two for example uh, the following data are available for the month of June and here is the budgeted data and here we have a actual data so here he told you first units so budgeted units are 40,000 actual units are 42,000 selling price per unit is six dollar per unit is the budgeted and 5.7 dollar per unit is the actual variable cost per unit is 3.5 per unit is the budgeted and 3.4 per unit is the actual variable cost and now guys uh, you can see here you are not provided uh, with the information of fixed production over it it means here we are going to use variable costing to calculate the volume variance and this is what uh, we have to calculate here what is the sales quantity variance for june so if you remember the formula just first for the sales quantity or volume variance just we need to write here actual unit sold minus budgeted unit sales times standard profit per unit so this will result in the variance now the actual unit sold you are provided with the 42000 you can see here it is available in the question minus budgeted unit sold you are also provided here which is 40000 you can see into the question so just simply you need to multiply with what with the standard profit per unit as i told you uh, here we are using variable costing so what you will do you need to write here budgeted sale price which is six dollar and minus budgeted variable cost which is 3.5 dollars so you can look this information from the question here okay so if you will take uh, sale price minus variable cost this will give you contribution margin or standard profit which is equal to 2.5 okay so what you will do here uh, simply now if you will multiply uh, the with the difference of units with the standard profit you will get the variance which is positive and it is favorable here is we have another exam note it is really imp important now assume what if you are not provided with the variable cost data so is it possible without variable cost data or without contribution can we calculate the volume variance the answer is yes uh, here you have a note that is why i put a note here you should remember this note if variable cost is not given we can also use budgeted sales price as a standard profit like here you can use budgeted sales price if you are not provided with the variable cost because you can't calculate the contribution so simply you can use here budgeted sale price okay to calculate the volume variance i hope guys everything is clear in the next video i will talk about and the sales variance for the if we are selling multi product if you really like the video please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have any question you can ask me through the comment section thank you so much bye bye